G'day there, Investaholics! Today we're going to be looking at C New, which is the Vanek Vectors China New Economy ETF. So, if you'd like to be invested in one of the largest and fastest growing economies in the world, uh, this is um, something to have a look at. We can, uh, it's a great strategy to help build uh, your future wealth. So, traditionally, economies like China have been uh, dependent on financials, energy, and materials. China is a country focused on uh, transitioning its economy to a consumption-based uh, economy. So, um, as opposed to just building things to export, they want to um, become a consumer economy where people in China um, spend more and like they actually cater more for the internal as opposed to external um, of the outside of the country. They are, they're, sorry, there are four forces behind the transition in which consumer oriented sectors are gradually replacing heavy industry and low cost manufacturing as the country's economy engines, economic engines, I should say. So uh, one of the main drivers is affluence and the growing middle class. Uh, we also um, know that um, China now is a world uh, leader in digital technology and also aging population. And there are more millennials uh, in China than anywhere else in the world. So they're the four major factors. I think those factors are going to drive some quite good gains in the future for China and Chinese companies and having exposure to China, I don't think is a bad idea. So stick around, um, we'll go through some more information and uh, some different alternatives as we go through the presentation today. Hey there Investor Alex, this is Scott. Crack the Sky Bay Investing will be giving you up to date investing news and content so that you can navigate the markets wherever you are. My mission here at Crack the Sky is to give you the knowledge and the confidence to take control of your personal finances, expand your investment horizons and crack your financial sky. So don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. It helps get the message out there. It helps pump the uh, algorithm for YouTube. Um, yeah, just in general, it sort of uh, gives me a bit more motivation as well to keep doing these little um, reviews for you guys. Thanks. Okay, let's have a look at C New, which is a Vanek Vectors China New Economy ETF. Um, C New gives investors a portfolio of the most fundamental, fundamentally sound companies in China having the best growth prospects in sectors, making up the new economy, namely technology, healthcare, consumer staples, and discretionary. So China New aims to provide investors returns before all the fees and rubbish, um, obviously tracking the index. So the index is the MSCI Market Greater China New Economy Index, and that aims to select the 120 companies in China with the best growth at a reasonable price attributes, which are considered to be the best drivers of long-term capital appreciation. So companies are selected Companies are selected based on the strength of 24 fundamental indicators across four uh, factor categories. So looking at growth, value, profitability, and cash flow. Or as always, you've got to check the PDS to get the full picture. Designed to serve the basis for investment funds provided, providing access to investors to some of the most promising stocks in China. Uh, why are we bothering? Um, so obviously it gives you access to China A shares via the Vanek Vector's expertise in single trade in the ASX. Getting access to China A shares is very difficult for foreigners. A portfolio of 120 of the most profitable sound companies with the best growth prospects at the forefront of the Chinese transformation, transforming economy. Only, include, only includes companies from the technology, healthcare, consumer staples, and discretionary sectors. So they're definitely the higher growth sectors for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years.
Okay, net asset value here per uh, share of $9.23, trading just below that at $9.20. Mark cap, this one's relatively small in the scheme of things, $77 million. Management cost, I think, is quite high, but as I mentioned, you know, to gain access to China is quite difficult. So if you want this type of investment, I think you just have to suck it up and, and pay the, um, the very high um, management cost of 0.95%. You get a small distribution annually in the middle of the year, which is July, uh, dividend yield of 0.88%, which is not overly exciting. Uh, the ETF gives exposure to the Chinese economy through an investment in 120 of the fastest growing and most fundamentally sound companies in China. Uh, you know, as we know, China can be opaque. Um, their accounting rules are different. You know, uh, how much do you trust what they actually tell you? Um, this is a way of kind of, of um, hedging, that, hedging that bet and having 120 in your basket. Um, if a couple go broke um, because of dodgy dodgy dealings, hopefully uh, the rest, the other um, 100 and, 118 or whatever um, are pretty sound companies. So the Chinese economy is set to become the largest in the world, as we all know, um, going to overtake the US. Therefore, most of the growing companies will come from China. However, China is not uh, without its risks uh, and caution is advised. So, I mean, this one, you you maybe would um, keep your exposure, you know, sort of below 5% or 5% or below in your portfolio. I think you should be fine. Have a look at IZZ or CETF uh, as some alternatives for investing. But I think you're mad not to have um, some exposure to China in some way. Um, definitely going to help your portfolio performance in the long run. Yeah, so pretty good performance overall since inception, 28% uh, in the last uh, 12 months, you will have done 13%. Um, so not as good as not as good as some of the other Asian focused ETFs. But I think this this one that gives you direct exposure to only the best growing Chinese companies, I think is the way to go. Definitely worth having um, a small exposure in your portfolio to just keep keep an eye on what's happening and you can quite possibly build into a, a larger position for this one. Are you interested in learning more about personal finance and investing in the markets? If you are, then smash the like here on the left hand side and caress the subscribe button on the right hand side because Crack the Sky and Value Investing will be giving you up to date investing news and content so you can navigate the markets wherever you are, expand your investment horizon and crack your financial sky. Thanks guys, see you later.